What's going on everybody? Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, today I have something special. You should be able to see by the title of the video uh, that we are going to go through a little Joey Porter today. So we already have all the collectibles, everything we need for Joey, but I want to show you the lineup, the updated lineup right now. Uh, this is just what I'm playing with now. I haven't sold everything uh, that I wanted to sell and I just did an automatic uh, best lineup um whatever anyway so you can see we still got Devin hester we got cobb on uh, uh, the left side in the slot here we got carlos hyde still i want to get rid of carlos hyde i just can't justify getting rid of the card because i i think i paid for the star cards for this uh for hyde and you can't you can't auction it right so i have to either quick sell it for like 300 coins or i just that's it. Uh, I got Romo here. We got uh, a Gatorade Eli there, which no difference. Coleman at fullback. Uh, Steve Smith Sr. at wide out. Still Witten out on tight end. We really haven't done a whole lot to our line, uh, so nothing to really see there. Uh, looking at the defense, McCordy is still our free safety. We have Wittner. We are stacked. We are absolutely stacked over here on strong safety. Whitner has been picking the ball like a mother. Uh, Bethea, I haven't really played with yet. And other than when I was optimized for man defense, um, then I was doing the style challenges. Uh, Georgia Loca, I have... I don't think I've really played with him. I played with him a bit. I think I actually bought Georgia Loca. Um, and I played with him before we played with Whitner. Uh, you can see we got Collins on left outside linebacker. We have Navarro Bowman in the middle. Uh, and Lee over here. I, I gotta fill this out. This is bad. Maybe, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, we got Gilmore over on cornerback. Amukamara on uh, cornerback as well. Pierre Paul, this is who I typically use her just because he's fast. I like the finesse move on the outside. Uh, I don't like using the strong move or the power move uh, when trying to get a hold of the quarterback. The finesse move just works a lot better and it's a lot faster. And Pierre Paul is fast. Um, so I've been using him a lot. I do want to get to using my linebackers a lot, uh, but I have not done that as of yet. Uh, we got Nagata at defensive tackle. We also have Williams. We got Bennett, and then we got Joseph over on cornerback as well. And then obviously you can see we use Hester because he's got a 99 kick return. I've only returned one kick for a touchdown with Hester, so uh, I got to work on that. But that is our lineup as it stands right now. So let's go over to our sets. Uh, I did open, whoops, I did open, actually, you can see that we have the uh, breast cancer awareness items are in here now, or the packs, uh, and we have completely filled all the packs. Uh, that video should have been released yesterday, um, I believe, if I wasn't too lazy to edit it. So, uh, with that, that pack opening, we are trying to get Larry Fitzgerald. Uh, he's a 94 Larry Fitzgerald. Where is he? There we go. And you can see we have everything but four cards, right? So, we got all our badges. These are all our other gold players. We've already filled that out. There's 10 of them there. We got Nate Solder, uh, the elite right here. Bryce Petty, D'Angelo Williams, Brian Hartline. I, I was calling this guy Cuisenberry all day yesterday. I looked at it, Questenberry. Anyway, um, so these four I'm missing. Now, I can get Jared Cook right now. He's about 50,000 coins, um, or I can risk pulling them later. But McCoy, McFadden, and Questenberry are all Series 2, which means they're not released yet. They're probably going to be released not next week, but the week after. So we are kind of on hold. There's absolutely no way we can get a hold of Larry Fitzgerald right now, which I did not know going into that pack opening, which kind of sucks. So, we have 16 of 20. We're waiting on the four. I might pick up uh, Jared Cook at some point. Like, if I can snipe him at a low amount, I, I'd never sit around for auctions. I'm always on by now. Uh, and he's looking 60,000 right now. And if you look at anything uh, ending anytime soon, you know, you're, you're not going to pay much less than 60,000. So, if I could, you know, pick this one up for 50,000 or so, I would do that. Um, but you can see I've invested some coins in Joey Porter. Anyway, let's get to Porter. So, 
over to our legends this is my first legend set that i've even tried to complete uh i do have one card in it andre reed uh and i have one in hutchinson hutchis hutchinson uh and that's about it i think oh i got a couple in finnerin but i haven't picked anything up from finnerin he came out of packs last week so i'm gonna have to grab everything off the auction block uh, which i may do if i can see some uh, upside into flipping him on the auction block so joey porter you can see we have every item right here all right now this is a lot for badges because badges sell for pr quite a bit um so whenever you're looking at legends Typically, you could probably flip all these cards for the same cost that it's going to take to... Or for the same... You could flip the cards for more than the Legend is actually going to be worth when you get him. But in Joey Porter's case, right now he's selling for just over 300000 I invested 70000 to get him. Because I pulled Week 6 and Week 8. All I had to do was buy 2002 and Game 2. Or Week 2, sorry. Uh, and I pulled all the badges as well. So there's really no money lost on this. I should be... I should be set to gain about 200,000 uh, if I sell them. So I'm just gonna go through and uh, add absolutely everything in here. I got a ton of Legends badges, so I'll add everything in and I will be back with your boy Joey Porter. All right, so when I said I had a ton of Legend badges, I had no idea that I only had four. So we hit up the auction block, we had to buy one. I'm in the middle of a video, so I'm not gonna sit and try to snipe one for you know 2000 or whatever so we picked one up for 15 or 14,000 tokens or uh coins so this is the last card let's add that in there so 5,000 back so we, we really only cost 9,000 uh coins for that uh legends badge but there we go we now have mr joey porter himself who, by the way, plays right outside linebacker. Who we do not have a legend for right now. I don't know why I said who on that. That's not really... Anyway. So, let's head over to our lineup. And we are going to throw in... Now, I'm going to user him in the first game that I play with him. I do not know if I'm going to keep him. Uh, I understand he's a fantastic card. He's a 94. He absolutely destroys who I have right now. But he is worth 300,000 coins. And you can do a lot with 300,000 coins. So, I'll put him in for now. I'm going to use him in the next game. Uh, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep him. It really depends uh, how well I play with him. Um, and if prices are going to go down. If they're going to go down, I'll sell them now. And then I can buy them back later for cheaper. Or what have you. So, we're going to jump into a head-to-head uh, -head season. Alright, here we go. Now, we're going to have uh, Hester on the return. Like I said, I've returned one kick with Hester. So, we're going to see. I'm going to run it regardless. Come on, baby. Oh, my God. I got picked up right away. We're going to see if we can establish the run early. Uh, if we can establish the run, then we should be okay. Uh, if he can't handle the run, which it doesn't look like he's going to be able to, then we're going to be able to exploit that. And I'm going to run that hard. I'm going to try the same thing to the other side, just because it's the wide end of the field. And we're going to see if he can take it. And this will kind of tell us what we're going to be doing throughout this game. Oh, I couldn't get around him. All right, here, we're looking for Witten on the outside here. Oh, no. Nothing there. Throw it away. Oh, my God. I couldn't throw it away. This is one of my go-to plays, uh, play action cross. Typically, I can find Cobb or Hester. If I can find Hester, I'm typically gone, uh, especially if I, it's on a lob. But we'll see how this goes. Ah, oh, come on. All right, we got a punt. I'm not really concerned with the offense in this game, to be totally honest. I'm not looking to blow anybody out or anything. I just, I want to use her, Joey Porter, for a little bit. Especially if I'm going to be getting rid of him. So, that is the main goal of this entire thing. Here we go. Little Joey Porter on the right outside linebacker position. And, oh, he's going to do a little top. Oh, god damn. I switched off of him. I'm so used to just switching as soon as the ball. I'm going to lock, 
Actually, uh, no, because if I lock, they invert the look, and I don't like the inverted look. Now, like I said, I do not play, or I do not use her, uh, my linebackers hardly at all. So, it's such a learning curve for me, because all I ever do is use her my ends. I use her my left end and my right end, and that's about it. Sometimes I use her the defensive tackle. Uh, he is just going to try to run this up the gut the entire game. Watch this. He's doing the same thing we're doing, trying to establish the run. It's going to be a toss right right here. There we go. Porter on the tackle. Beautiful. We're going to try and blitz him here. If we can stop him, we might hold him to a field goal. It doesn't... Oh, what's he doing? Oh my god, I got burned hard there. Ah, oh, that was the worst. I did not expect a toss or a throw on that. I did not expect a throw. We're going to blitz him again here. See, see if we can get anything done. Now, in the last video, I... Oh, coming all the way around. Beautiful. In the last video, I, I was narrating, essentially, my play. And I didn't know that I had my PlayStation camera hooked up. So, my opponent heard absolutely everything that I was saying um, and completely destroyed me. That's one of the losses in the in the head-to-head -head season. Completely wrecked me uh, because he knew everything that I was doing before I did it. Oh, oh, I wanted that pick so bad. If if there's an opportunity for a pick, I'm, gonna, I'm going to try to use that pick, uh, which is going to pull me off of Joey Porter, obviously. But by and large, I'm going to be on Porter for the entire game. Here we go. Third and 14. They are on my 20. Let's see if we can do something here. Oh, he's flipping it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I thought for sure that that was my player. I, I thought I just used her to pick. That was awful. I That was my coverage, actually, that I completely blew. We're going to return right again. We do have, like I said, Devin Hester in the back. So, explosive plays happen all the time. Let's just hope that we can get a half-decent return here. I'm going to go to the outside. Oh, I couldn't get around him again. God damn, I got to the 20 anyway. Here we go. Another outside run. Let's just see how it works. Oh, if I could have broken that tackle, I would have been gone. I need a faster... Uh, running back than Carlos Hyde though. He just is not cutting it Even using somebody like D'Angelo Williams, you can tell how slow Carlos Hyde is in this game uh, It's very 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 noticeable There we go Come on Witten hustle your ass Witten All right, here we go. We always well I don't always but a lot of times we got Hester on the outside running a fade route because he is so bloody fast this looks like it's going to be... No, it's not Steve Smith. There we go. No, stay in! Oh, at least I got a couple yards. All right, I'm going to send Steve Smith on a slant route right here. See if I can get him as he crosses the middle. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, I spun right into him. We're basically just trying to establish the run and get, uh, get a score before half. This is going to be a little screenplay here. See if he calls it. He does not. Blocking is there. And we're good. Beautiful. So, 7-7. Seven, seven. About two minutes left in the second. Hopefully, we can win this game. Uh, but, again, I just want to use her, uh, Joey Porter. So, I, you know, I want to score or get rid of the ball as quickly as I can. Obviously, a win is a win. Going to absolutely bomb the kick. There's not going to be a return. His foot's going to go out. Oh, there is going to be a return. That a boy. I can appreciate the effort trying to return something that's that far into the end zone. We're basically going to fall out to the flats on this one. And see. Again, we're going to bust out to the flats. Hopefully he starts throwing to our side. He's throwing to the right a lot. I'm thinking Lacey should. Oh, god damn. And I'm taking. Run a little man coverage here. I am going to take Lacey, obviously. There we go. Beautiful. I was fucking in no man's land on that in this scenario. Oh, beautiful. 
Fourth and 26, and he's going to go for it on his own 14. He's clearly just going to bomb it. Uh, so, hopefully, I'm just going to run up and play the pass. Ah, oh, Joey Porter. Actually, when I was playing the game to get Joey Porter, he got a pick. Not liking the look of that. Let's see if we can get Hyde. Ah, he cannot break a tackle, this boy. I'm pretty sure he just jumped offside to stop the clock. I'm not sure if it was even running. So he's got no coverage on that side. I'm going to try to get... Oh, no. Cobb is covered. Ah, I thought I'd be able to get to it. Don't tell me... Oh, Romo is down. Fuck, that means Eli Manning is coming in. That is awful news. Center's not covered. Let's see. Oh, no. Oh, they covered it right at the last minute. God damn it. If I can get to him. There we go. Fuck. I got tied up with Porter. I don't... I actually... I didn't look at Porter's stats for uh, finesse move or power move. I'm assuming it is a power move. There we go. Oh, God. I thought there was a pick, too. No, I'm blitzing. Come on. At least we got a hold of him. I thought coming out to... Oh, fuck. I missed Porter. We got to do what we can do. Oh, I almost had the pick. I'm going to try for the pump block. It's not going to work. And it's not going to give me anything for a return. But I'm going to try it because I've never blocked a punt in this. And obviously, it wasn't even close. But we do have some blockers. And Hester gets about six. We're going to run a quick rollout here. All we need to do is get one completion. If we can do that, which we just... Oh, no! I'm going to get picked! You know what? You don't win if you don't take any chances. I'm going to put my out into the end zone. We're going to take Cobb or Steve Smith Sr. on this one. We're going Cobb. He's playing way too deep. Oh, what? If he just would have turned around, we would have gotten a hold of it. And that's it. Just Hester. This is going to Hester no matter what happens. Cause, just because he's blazingly fast. There we go. Come on, baby. Oh, no. It's catching on the ground. Oh, that would have been amazing. All right. We are going to rush the quarter. Oh, no. Oh, no. Trying to rush the quarterback, but he keeps doing these tosses. He's pitching right again. I totally thought he was going to do, uh, he, he, uh, I heard him change it, but it didn't even register. I heard him call the audible, but it didn't register at all. I thought he was pitching again. There it is right there. Shit, I couldn't get on him. There we go. Oh, we get the pick with Winder. Beautiful. So that's going to put us in a wicked position in the third quarter. I'm basically just going to try to get down the field as quickly as I can. Uh, this is probably... Uh, Witten's not going to be very fast out there. So I'm going to throw a fade route to Hester. See if I can get him in the end zone. There he's got a hold of it. Beautiful. So at least we're moving quickly. Uh, that way I can get back on Joey Porter and try to use him a little bit before I throw him on the auction block. Because uh, there's no point doing any of this if I can't even use them. Shit! Let's see if he picks up the screen. He does not. Oh, God! The reaction time when you're trying to take over a screen is ridiculous. It takes so long to actually use that player. Third and six here. What are we going to do? Let's send Cobb on a slant. And I'm going to send Freeman to the flats on the right side. And we got Hester going to the end zone if we need him. Oh, oh catch it! Fuck! All right, here we go. I do not have Joey Porter on the field right now. There we go. Gilmore with the pick. Oh, and he gets absolutely labeled by Clay. 
All right, so my opponent did not quit the game. So we're going to establish the run on the outside here again. We are not going to establish the run. We are going to get absolutely labeled. We're going to have Steve Smith go into the end zone on this. We're going to try it. We're going to see what we can do as long as we have the coverage. It looks bad, but oh, gave it a shot. We're going to have Hester and Cobb. Hester and Cobb. It's going to be one of the two. It always is. Oh, let's try. Oh, Steve Smith Sr. What are you doing? I cannot throw it to Steve Smith. He doesn't have the height. He just doesn't have the height. And he is going to get kicked after three delay of games for excessive grieving, which basically they do if somebody's being a douchebag or if they have... Uh, a ridiculous amount of lag but anyway guys thanks for checking out the video there's going to be more gameplay with joey porter i don't think i'm going to sell him just yet so there's going to be more gameplay with joey porter we're going to try to pick up a couple more legends see what we can do so if you haven't yet please like and subscribe the video it helps obviously we got to put a bunch of points and a bunch of coins towards these guys so obviously it's going to help with that but like and subscribe the channel and i will see you in the next video